A bold vision is Elizabeth May's promise to tackle social issues always with the climate fight at the center. We call it mission possible. It's not mission easy, but it's possible. This platform represents something bold in every single category. We don't have time anymore for incremental steps. A platform which doubles Canada's current goal to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, targets Canada's already short of meeting. It calls for buildings to be retrofitted to be carbon neutral in 10 years' time. Add to that free university tuition, universal pharmacare, and a guaranteed livable income. The party has promised a full cost analysis, only it's not ready. The Parliamentary Budget Office is still working on it. Many economists worry trying to do so much in such little time will raise costs, and that will hurt the Greens' credibility. These are going to be massive increases in the size of the federal government, which is going to play into the hands of essentially the other parties. We're going to say, you know, this is, it might be technically feasible, regardless of how you feel about it, but it's going to be incredibly challenging in the scope of the federal budget. May's challenge is to successfully argue her plan is expensive but necessary as she fights for third place with the NDP. I have nothing against the NDP. I'm not running against the NDP. But a sign of how fierce the fight between the two parties is, today in that Quebec riding where the NDP incumbent crossed to the Greens and a former provincial Green jumped to the NDP, fighting words. For me, the NDP had the most, the best environmental plan. Not exactly the message the Green Party leader wants voters to hear as she angles for major gains come October. Salima Shivji, CBC News, Ottawa.